Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is probably going to be the last video for the concepts of algebra. We are going to do previous year question on set theory. In the last video, we have learned the basics of set theory, where we have learned about the Venn diagram, its joint sets, union, intersection, difference, and so on. If you have not watched the last video, I would recommend you go watch the last video and then come back and to this video. And if you want, you can download this PDF from the Telegram channel. Try to solve this question on your own first before looking at the solution. Okay, let's start. Again, in exam, you can expect like six to seven questions or five to six questions on set theory, but they are not going to be simply formula application you need a bit of smartness common sense to come to the solution right and the basic elimination option elimination technique are very helpful in these such these questions where you don't know the final answer but it's easier to eliminate the options to come to a final answer okay what does this mean we'll see let's say, let's start in a group of 15 people Seven can read French. Seven can read French. Eight can read English. Three cannot read any of the languages. So, 15 people are total there. Three people cannot read any of the language. So, French and English could be read by how many people? 15 minus 3. This is the first thing. Means 12 people are there who can read either French or English. So, just to show you. Using a Venn diagram, this is the case. This is the universal set, means 15 people. This is the people who can read French. This is the people who can read English. Obviously, there will be few people who can read French and English, right? We will see that later, but for now, this complete set, universal set, has 15 people who can read either French or English, will be 15 minus 3. Means this two circle, this circle and this circle has how many people? Total of 12 people. So I will write 12 here for, for now. And three people are in this set where which cannot read either French or English. Right? So means A union B means people who are in this circle. Either of this circle is 12. I hope this is clear. 12. Now, we know that French means A can be read by 7 people. English can be read by how many people? 8. I hope this is clear. Uh, English means B. A means French for the simplicity as B means English. Right? Now, A union B is all the people who can either read French or English or both, but we don't care, means at least they know the language. Three people are out of it, so 15 minus 3 is 12, is the union, A union B. Seven people are those people who can read French. This means they can either read French or both languages, but at least they know French. B is, they know English. They could also know French, but they know English. That's what, that's all they have given us. Now, do we know that A union B is equal to A plus B minus A intersection B? Or A intersection B is A plus B minus A union B? Or A is 7 plus B is 8 minus 12. 8 plus 7 is, uh, 8 plus 7 is 15 minus 12 is 3. So, A intersection B, A intersection B is 3. Means, who know both of these languages? Who know both of these languages is 3. 3. I hope this is clear. 3 is, who knows both these languages? Now, let's look at this single block of French. French means, 7 people can read French, where who are French only plus both languages. French only plus both languages. So, 7 is equal to French only 
how many people are there who can learn, read both languages? Three. So French only is seven minus three. How many? Four. I hope this is clear. So French only language is four people. So four will come here. Four will come here. Three is between. And now, who are the people who can read only English? So total English speaker is eight. Eight comprises of English only plus both. So both is three. So English only is eight minus three. That is five. So five are the people. Five is the number of people who can read English only. So now if you calculate five is English only, four is French only, three is both languages. So five plus four plus three is equal to twelve. So twelve is the number of people who can read any of the language. So I hope this is clear. Now tell me the number of people who can read exactly one language. Exactly one language means they cannot read both, either English or French. So that means five people of English, four people of French means there are nine people who can read only one language, right? Nine people who can read only one language, three people who can read both of the language. I hope this is clear. This is the use of Venn diagram plus the uh, plus the formula base question, right? Now every question is not going to the formula base, so you just have to visualize the question to get to an answer. Right now, in a school, every student is assigned a unique identification number. Suppose this is their roll number. Let's take this is a roll number for the simplicity. A student is a football player if and only if his identification number is divisible by four. First thing is the roll number is divisible by four. He is a football player. He is a cricketer if his number is divisible by six. So let's another thing. So every number from 1 to 100 is assigned to a student. Now, class, there is a class which has roll number from 1 to 100. If you want to take a pause and do want to try it on your own, you can do that. For, we, otherwise, we then you can come back and see the solution. Right? Let's start. In a class, the roll numbers are assigned from 1 to 100. Cricketers are those people whose roll numbers is divisible by 4. So from 1 to 100, what all number are divisible by 4? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, so on. And if you check, it will go on till 100 because 100 is also divisible by 4. Another, question, another part is, who? sorry, this first one was football. I will just remove this cricket. This is, first is football. Second is cricket. So, what is cricket? Cricket is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. So, if you go on till now, you will see the last number which is less than 100 but divisible by 6 is 96. So, now this is not exactly a set theory question, but just to tell you. Give you an idea how to how you will see in the Venn diagram. This is how will you see you can plot this in the Venn diagram. This is a class of 100 students. This is some football playing students. This is some cricket playing students. This is football. There is cricket. There are a few students like roll number 12, which play both of the sport. Like roll number 24, which play both of the sport, and so on. There are also some students. Who neither play any both of any of these sports like roll number three, roll number one, roll number two, roll number five, which are not part of these. So those are outside of these circles. I hope this is clear. This is how you visualize using the Venn diagram. Now, if you see, what will be the starting number, which is common in both twelve. Second number is common twenty four. And if you see, the next number will be common 36. And so on, and you will find that the last number is common in both of them is 96. Right? 12, 24, 36, and 96. Right? Now, if you see here, either you can just directly deduce it that 12 was the 12, 12, 8 is the 96. So, 98 number, 8 students are there who can play both of these sports. 
8 is the answer otherwise we will use the the arithmetic progression here first number is 12 common difference is 12 and the last number a and is 96 so a and is a plus n minus 1 into d 96 is equal to 12 plus n minus 1 into d 12 so 96 minus 12 is 84 is equal to 12 n minus 1 so 12 oh sorry here we have n minus 1 is equal to 84 by 12 12 sevens are so n is equal to 7 plus 1 8 you can also come to the value as 8 so you just have to visualize that how many of them play cricket as well as football means they play cricket and football both and this is how we can solve this question this is not exactly a set theory question but you but for the visualization we needed venn diagram so this is why i have put it in a set theory right now moving on now such questions are very common and most of the students are not able to solve it i will tell you why because rather than coming to a definite answer suppose i ask you what is the value of x you will be able to tell me x is equal to 50 but if i ask you is x less than 60 greater than 72 less than 32 so something in the range questions this becomes when you are not able to pinpoint to one answer it it gets very difficult in your brain that how to if if my answer is right or wrong suppose you have uh, led it to an answer suppose x is equal to 50 you know the answer you check the options you're done but if the answer is some in some range suppose 0 to 40 then can you pinpoint it to yes my answer is between 0 to 40 very difficult so such questions you have to use i would say venn diagram knowledge set theory basic as well as a little of common sense right now if you read the question you will get the uh, what i am trying to say suppose there are 100 participants 70 are indians first thing there is a conference going on and there is 100 participants i will show it in like this 100 participants are there where 70 are indians now suppose someone ask you suppose someone ask you indians is 70 now someone ask you what are who, how many non indians are there yes you can point out non indians is 30 simple right so sir if now now i will give you a scenario suppose indians are 70 non indians are 30 right now i tell you out of these participants 90 have taken 90 have taken a bus to come to the conference so 90 have taken bus to come to the conference now by looking at this can you tell me that were there some indians in the bus yes because non indians were just 30 and there were 90 people who were sitting in the bus though there should have been some indians in the bus as well because only non indians were 30 i hope you get a picture that indians are 70 non indians are 30 right now this is the bus example this continues like if out of total participants 60 are vegetarian now let's take another another graph 100 people are there uh, let's take this this is the veg veg is 60 how many non veg are there non veg are 40 now which of the statements are correct now at least 30 indian participants are vegetarian at least 100 at uh, 10 indian participants are vegetarians whenever they say at least at most this means they are asking for the maximum or minimum value maximum or minimum value right now let's suppose now tell me maximum minimum uh, suppose le, before that i will show tell you i will give you uh, let's start with this indians is 70 and non indians are 30 suppose 60 vegetarian uh, 60 people are vegetarian i suppose everyone in the non non indian group is a vegetarian how suppose that uh, everyone is a vegetarian so how many uh, uh, vegetarian are left 30 so 30 must be coming from indian group 
सो सेवेंटी माइनस थर्टी इज फोर्टी सो फोर्टी नॉन वेजिटेरियन आर देयर इन द इंडियन ग्रुप दिस इज दिस इज वन ऑफ द वैल्यू मीन्स फर्स्ट केस फर्स्ट केस इज इफ ऑल नॉन इंडियंस आर वेजिटेरियन सो इन दैट केस आई हैव गॉट दैट नॉन इंडियंस थर्टी वेजिटेरियन इंडियन सेस हाउ मेनी वेजिटेरियन थर्टी वेजिटेरियन एंड हाउ मेनी इंडियंस आर नॉन वेजिटेरियन इन दैट केस फोर्टी फोर्टी नॉन वेज आई होप दिस इज क्लियर दिस इज द रेंज वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड नाउ सपोज इफ ऑल नॉन इंडियंस आर नॉन वेज इफ ऑल नॉन इंडियंस आर नॉन वेज हेयर नॉन वेज नॉन इंडियंस नॉन वेज आर जीरो non indian non veg are zero in first case now coming to non indians vegetarian if all non veg non indians are non vegetarian so vegetarian will be zero non vegetarian will be 30 because the third total uh, number of non indians are 30 now in indian group there are total 70 people now vegetarian are 60 since there is no vegetarian in non indian group 60 will be coming from here So, if sixty is coming from here, non-vegetarians will be seventy minus sixty ten. Now, if you see, if there is an Indian group, the maximum vegetarian it can have is sixty, and minimum vegetarian it can have is thirty. If it is an Indian group, maximum vegetarian it can have is sixty, minimum is thirty. If it is an Indian group, maximum non-vegetarian it can have is uh, non-vegetarian it can have is forty. maximum uh, minimum non vegetarian it can have is 10 and so on i hope this is clear now we are able to make a range of maximum value of indians who are vegetarian maximum value of indian which are non vegetarian and so on now let's see the answers options at least means minimum value of indian vegetarians is 30 minimum value of indian vegetarians is 30 was our minimum value of indian vegetarians 30 yes Because minimum value of Indian vegetarian was thirty and maximum value was sixty, uh, uh, so this is surely correct. At least, means minimum value of Indian uh, participants are, that are non-veg, Indian non-veg, minimum value was ten, maximum value was forty. So our second option is also right. So both one and two are correct. I hope this is clear. This is we are trying to find a range and then look at the solution. i hope this is clear now moving on next question this is another set theory question set theory means here we are going to use a lot of extensively you going to use venn diagram let's start all members of a club went to mumbai and stayed in a hotel they were stayed in a hotel first line is clear means there are some people first day 80 went for 80 went for shopping Fifty went for sightseeing and ten took rest in the hotel. Let's take a Venn diagram. Now, this represents the people who were went for uh, shopping. Let's say it's went. This is shopping. There will be some people who went for sightseeing, sightseeing, and these two groups combined form everyone who has left the hotel for. going outside means if you want to shopping if you want to do shopping or sightseeing you have to go out of the hotel if you are not out of going out of the hotel means you are taking rest so 10 people or 10% of the people suppose there are 100 people in total 10 people are there who are not going out period they are not going out for anything but the people who have gone out that is 90 people those people have either gone for shopping or sightseeing or both means the people who have gone out has either gone for shopping or sightseeing or both so 90 people is the union of two activities means the people are either doing shopping or sightseeing so a uni a means if i am a a a means shopping b means sightseeing so a union b means those people who are either going for shopping or sightseeing or they could do both i don't care means the total number of people who has gone out of the hotel that is 90 now 
एट्टी परसेंट वेंट फॉर शॉपिंग सो ए इज इक्वल टू एट्टी मीन्स एटी पीपल हैज गॉन आउट फॉर शॉपिंग ओनली नो नॉट ओनली शॉपिंग दे कुड आइदर बी शॉपिंग और साइट सीन मीन्स और बोथ बट दे हैव गॉन दे आर एटलीस्ट डूइंग शॉपिंग B sightseeing is done by fifty people. So this means they are either doing shopping, they are either doing sightseeing, or they are doing both the activities. But fifty people have done sightseeing. Now they want the no, no, well. If you look at the uh, statements, forty member went for shopping as well as sightseeing. So are they not asking for A? Are they not asking for A intersection B? Means they have done both the activities. So A intersection B, A union B is equal to A plus B minus A intersection B. So A union B was ninety, eighty plus thirty, eighty plus fifty, eighty plus fifty minus A intersection B. So A intersection B is one thirty minus ninety is equal to forty. So forty people have those people who have done both the activities. So let's check the option. Forty members went for shopping as well as sightseeing. Perfectly right. Forty is our answer. Now, as I've already told you, as I've already told you, how many people have went for shopping? That is, uh, eighty. Eighty people have went for shopping. So shopping means they have they have done shopping. Either they have done only shopping or they have done both the activities. Is equal to eighty. But people who have done only shopping is plus both the activities forty is equal to eighty. So if you calculate shopping only will be eighty minus forty forty. So forty are the people uh, who have done only shopping. So second statement says twenty percent of the members only went for shopping. No, because if we check here, eighty is the total number of people who went for shopping. Forty. Is the people who went for both, so forty people should have been there who went for only shopping. So only our first statement is correct. I hope this is clear. This is how we have used this formula and come to the final answer. Now, next question. See, next question is in in a school sixty students play cricket. Now, sixty students play cricket. Now, a student who does not play cricket now means that forty people who non cricket, right? No, who are not playing cricket. That's that's all we know. We don't know anything else. We just know that sixty people are there who play cricket, and forty people are there who does not play cricket till now. A student who does not play cricket play football means these forty people for sure play football. Nothing else we know. We only know that sixty people play cricket. Forty people does not play cricket, but out of those forty people play football. Now, every forty player has got a two wheeler. Every forty player has got a two wheeler. So this means that these forty players have two wheeler. Now, which of the following cannot be drawn from the data? So in such a question, you try to think of a situation which Try to eliminate our statement, right? I will show you with the first example. Sixty percent of the student does not have a two wheeler. Now, read the question back. They say these forty people, these forty people surely have a two wheeler. But did they say anything about these sixty people? Now suppose I say. Sixty? Did they ever say that only football player can have a, a two wheeler, not cricket player? No. They only say that sixty player play cricket, forty player play football, and all those football player have a two wheeler, right? So this is such. Let's take an example. Suppose the uh, suppose uh, let's let's take suppose India India under twenty team and India twenty 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 World Cup team. Suppose there are two teams. Twenty twenty World Cup team, uh, all the players have a uh, car. In twenty twenty team has a car. Did I say anything about the one day team to you? No. You can only tell me that you only tell me that all the twenty twenty players have a car. 
you have not said anything about the one day team right so that this is the way that they have to given you information about the football players only but not about the cricket team so 60% of the student do not have a two wheeler so the cricket players could have or could not have we don't know but we know for sure that these 40 players have a two wheeler so first statement is wrong why because we don't know anything about those 60% people they could have a two wheeler or could not have a two wheeler so first statement we cannot we cannot come to this conclusion no cricketer has a two wheeler i don't know because you have not given you have only told me about the football players you have not given any information about the uh, cricket players so this is right now third thing cricket players do not play football start with the reading first line 60% students play cricket okay 40% do not play cricket 40% do not play cricket but they play football so now did they anyway told you that this 60% of the students who play cricket does not play football no they have not given you any information in this area neither they have not given information about either they play two wheeler either they have two wheeler or they play chess or they they have a playstation or they travel a lot they have not given you any information about these 60 players they have only given you information about these 40 players so cricket players do not play football i don't know so i cannot conclude it from our uh, option uh, from my given question so that is why all three i cannot deduce from the given statement so if you read question carefully here again i told you that common sense comes into play, comes into play they have given you information about this they have not given you information about this so that is why the, you cannot derive anything about the you cannot know anything about the cricket players i hope this is clear now coming to this question this is again 2019 question uh, we'll see let's say x is greater than 25 x is greater than 25 equal to 25 so x could be 25 26 27 28 up to up to 100 even 1000 infinity i don't know but this is given information given to me y is less than 40 so y is less than 40 means it could be 40 39 38 37 up to 0 till nine, minus infinity i don't care but it is equal to uh, equal to or less than 40 now x is greater than y y minus x is greater than so there are four options given to you you try to eliminate the options try because directly you cannot come to a solution you cannot definitely say this is true but try to uh, prove that this option is wrong and eliminate that x is greater than y first option x is greater than y is it true suppose y is 40 yes that is possible and now if i say if i x is greater than 25 cannot be x is x is equal to 1000 uh, suppose 1000 so x is greater than y true but suppose y is 40 and x is 25 which is the first option is it is still x greater than y no now x is less than y so first option is surely not true right second option coming to second option y minus x is greater than 15 second option y minus x is greater than 15 suppose i take y is 40 and x is 25 y is 40 x is 25 now do y minus x 40 minus 25 that is 15 so 15 i have got now suppose y is 40 now x i take x as suppose 30 uh, 26 which is the next value possible so 40 minus 26 is 14 so you can try any value of x any value of y you want you will always find a number less than 15 so 15 is the maximum value it can go up to and after that y minus x is always less than 15 so y minus x greater than 15 again not a right answer now moving on next part let's take the last option first x plus y is greater than 65 x plus y 
is greater than 65. I take x as 25. Uh, x as 25. I take y as already told you. I, I will take y. You can take anything less than uh, y. I will take y as 0. So, x plus y is 25 plus 0. That is 25. So, x plus y is greater than or equal to 65. Why? No. Because y can only uh, go down and x can only go up. So, x plus y could also be 25 or even other values. So, x plus y greater than or equal to 65 is again a wrong conclusion. So, the only answer is y minus x less than or equal to 15. This is you can you can try. As I already told you, y minus x maximum value it can take is 15. All the other values of x minus y will be less than 15. I hope this is clear. Uh, the how did we reach this? Right? So now uh, that's all for this video. We'll see, we'll just I do a quick recap. I know this is a long video. Just for the quick recap. First video, we use the uh, formula for A unit B and we use the Venn diagram to find the value of what are the French only, English only. So that is why you have to be very, very uh, focused and uh, very peculiar about what they are asking you in the option. They are asking you who can read exactly one language. Exactly one language is exactly one who people who can only read French, who can only read English and exclude or do not include those people who can read both the language. Now, in this question, what we did, this was majorly, uh, this was just to give you an idea how the, what the sets are, uh, how the concepts of sets can be used in this question as well. But otherwise, it was more of a AP uh, arithmetic progression question. Moving on in this question, I have already told you, in such a question, whenever they ask you at least, at max, at most, try to find the minimum value and the maximum value. How did we find that minimum value value? You can rewind and rewatch it again if you want. And this is how we were able to find the value of this. Now here, what we did was, as I already told you, the, the, the main thing you have to focus on is A union B. These the people who went out of the hotel was 90 people. 10 people never went out of the hotel. So 10 people are here. 90 people is A union B who have done at least one of the outdoor activities. They have left the hotel. Now, coming to this question, this is very, this again, common sense question. You have to be very smart what the question statements given to you. They have given you all the information about the non-cricket players, but they did not say anything about cricket. Means they have given you, suppose they have told you that Indian football team, every player owns a vehicle, Every person does this. Every person does that. But they have, they have never told you what the Virat Kohli or Rohit Sharma does. Right? They, don't, they have not given you information about anything. About the cricket players. So you cannot say anything. Come not come to any conclusion given in the option. This was another question. Again. In this option number 2. And option number 3. This is just a, at least. As I have already told you, try to find the range. Means maximum x minus y or y minus x could be 15. y minus x maximum could be 15. After that, everything is less than 15. So, here you were able to, you can eliminate three options and come to the final answer. And that's all for this video. This completes our set theory and algebra. Uh, so that's all for algebra topics. In next video, uh, I I will uh, will do one uh, previous year questions from C set 2021, C set 2022 of all the algebra topics what we have learned till now. So again, uh, I will give you an advice: download that PDF, try to solve them before coming to the next class where we'll uh, solve those questions. And once we are done with that. We are done with the algebra part and then in the next videos we will start with the arithmetic topic. So that's all for this video. Thank you and best of luck for your preparation.